Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my son, Mike Lanthony Fitness. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, man, this literally does not work. Um, I'm excited. I I'm sorry. I, I literally am about to bust. I mean, Mike, a week from tomorrow, the season starts, man. Are you happy? I mean, can you show just a little bit of, you know, you know who Michael is like. It just hit me. This is for all you Trekkie fans out there. Star Trek, the next generation. Data. No emotion whatsoever. None. Anyway, we booked our flight. We headed to Big D. That's Dallas. Saturday morning, we'll be there. We'll be there till Monday evening. We're going to be doing stuff with Cowboys Experience. Mike, are you excited? Uh, I am. Uh, man. That, that, and, and we, we're going to get that tour of the Star Wars. Well, right. So we're, Monday, we're going to do the tour of the Star. So we need to book our opening. tickets today. Yeah, plenty of Damn. For the I got to give Jerry Jones some more of that money. Jerry, use some of that money on Zeke, please. Okay. Can you use some of that money on getting Zeke into the fold? We'll see, now, we'll see about week one. Now here, here, I tell you what, see, you young people out there don't know what I'm about to talk about. Now, granted, some of you people that are that, that are elderly like me, okay, that still have their mental faculties will, will understand this. The Redskins right now are having their uh, welcome home luncheon or whatever, and they had Dexter Manley on there. I hated Dexter Manley. Dexter Manley, him and Charles Mann were two of the best defensive end combinations in the history of the NFL. But what I miss, I hated the Redskins, but Redskins Cowboys week was literally electric. The trash talking that would happen, and I, I will never in my life forget, because see, the Cowboys and the Redskins always were playing for the right to the Super we had Danny White, who was always so close. You know, we look at Tony Romo and the playoff failures that he had, but Danny White went to three NFC Championship games and could not get it together. But I remember Dexter Manley saying, I'm going to clean Danny White's clock. And he proceeded to do it. And, and I, I will never forget that hit that he put on Danny White. Now, I hated the Redskins. I hated... Dexter Manley and that defense, you know, they had Dave Butts and everything and World Grant and Dexter Manley and Daryl Green. I, I hated those freaking Redskins. But I could respect what they were able to accomplish and I appreciated the rivalry. Because it's not like today when players, you know, after the game, they're holding up the, the competition's jersey and stuff. They're going down to Florida or Arizona and working out in the offseason and stuff. No, this stuff was war. It was Dallas, Washington week. There was stuff that was going on the bulletin boards where it just kind of gave you that little extra bit. And see, that is lost. Mike, Mike you don't understand that, do you? That is lost now in the game. They're, they're trading jerseys now. That's what I'm saying. You know, it's oh, this, this is my best but Man, screw that. You were a cowboy boy. You saw him in the offense, off season. You wanted to kick his ass. And that's the way these Redskins but, players what work. Was, what was Charles Cohen and, and Death Bond doing? Trade, trade jerseys after the game. Yeah, after right, the game. Exactly. Now, I will say there's one player that reminds me of that old school that's on the Dallas Cowboys right now, who really just kind of gets my juices flowing there. You know what I'm talking about? On our defense. Who, Chris Richard? Well, Chris Richard is that kind of coach. I mean, Chris Richard is that kind of coach that beats you out. You know, because, see, George yeah. Allen no, no, no. wanted to meet Tom Landry at midfield and have a fight. That's how crazy this rivalry used to be. Yeah, but he, that man comes Work with cleats with Chris, on. Yeah, Chris, with cleats, with cleats on. You, you see, I can see Chris Richard getting out of midfield to kick some ass. He, he did during the Eagles game, or tried to. But see, <laughs> I'm actually talking about D Law. Oh, Because you hear, you remember when Demarcus Lawrence 
before the Saints game, the Saints game that nobody gave us no chance in hell. And I'm talking no chance, right? You, you remember that, right? What did the law say about that New Orleans team? Something about, you know, it, it's different. Uh, you, you can't play or all that stuff goes out the window when you get punched in the mouth. And last night, yesterday, when he was asked about if having all of these guys on the defense takes some of the pressure off, he was like, hell no, don't take pressure off. Because I'm going out there to get hit. I mean, to hit somebody. And he said something about we're a bunch of dogs. You know, we're not talking about fluffy. Oh, fluffy. No, we're not talking about cute dogs. He's talking about dogs that will bite your face off. Did you hear about you didn't hear that left? Oh he said literally, we a bunch of dogs and we are here to bite your face off. And that's just like, oh, that, that's that's literally music to my ears. I freaking can't I, I Mike Mike I, I am so excited that literally we're gonna go to the first game. The first game in Big D to start the season. And then we're going to turn around and seven days later have our tailgate at that toxic waste dump, FedEx Field. We're talking back-to-back -back Sundays we're going to be watching the Cowboys. Can I get a smile at least? That's it? And we're playing back-to-back -back division rivals. I can't wait. I can't wait to get back to Big D and see our stones that are there. Because I, I got to say, you know, a lot of people question if I'm really a Dallas Cowboy fan. I want you to know, I got paving stones. No, no, you know what's even better? But, but. The players walk over it every single, one of them every single time. That's right. But, but my first <laughs> paving stone was placed in there. Okay, I was one of the first stones put in there. Because I bought one when the stadium was being built. And I remember being there, going to Dallas, just before, the week before it opened, because I wanted to see my stone. And like, nah, you can't get there until it's officially open. But then I got a second stone. And that stone is in the Tom Landry section. Smack dab in the middle, right there at the player's entrance. They walk past on it around it every time they go there for a game. I can't wait to go back over and see it. I can't wait to be amongst all the Cowboys Nation. Can't wait to see Miss Jackie and Sarah, you know, and uh, see my man Barry. We'll probably go to Mike Fisher's bar um, and uh, eat there. We'll be at Lava Cantina at the autograph sign. Man, it, it, damn! Feel like a kid at Christmas. Alright. We're gonna keep on rolling. Passing each of these days. Tonight at 8.15, we will be one week away from kickoff. And you better start getting excited right now. Because the 2019 season is here. I'm Mark Holmes with Mike Landry. And we'll see you guys later.